Hi everyone, so let me show you how the Zoom breakout rooms work and thank you to those of you who are here live uh, being guinea pigs here. So click on the more button on the bottom right and then click on breakout rooms and you will see that right now there are four people on the call and uh, I already tried creating a breakout room that's why it, it shows that there are people assigned but I'm going to click recreate which is how you usually see it when you um, when you try to create. And then um, I have a co-host. I already assigned a co-host here. Uh, so that's why it says include co-host. But usually if you don't assign a co-host for the main room, that usually isn't available. And so what happens is you will see it says recreate create or recreate one breakout room. And it says far, four participants per room because there's only one breakout room. There's, there, there would be one breakout room and one main room, which is only going to be me in it. If I click the up button, it says, um, uh, sometimes a little buggy, but there we go. Two, and this is therefore, if there's two breakout rooms, there's two participants per room. And I can click up again. Uh, no, I can't because there's only four of you here. Oh, I'm sorry. See, sometimes it's buggy. Sometimes you can click up and down. Sometimes you have to like change the number manually. So if there's three breakout rooms, that means one break there's going to be one person in one of the breakout rooms. Um, my math is bad right now. But anyway, so you could assign automatically, which means, let me show you what happens. If I do two breakout rooms, assign automatically, recreate. Um, as you can see, it, it already randomly placed a bunch of people. I could also assign manually. Okay, let me try this again. Recreate. And now uh, in room one, there's nobody in either room, okay? If I click the drop down menu. I click assign and then I can say, okay, I'm going to do Ariel and Nikki in room one. I'm going to assign, um, Mike and Samya in the second room and Jenny. So then there's three people. You could see it the way I'm doing it right now. Let me try one more thing. Options on the bottom left allow participants to choose room. Uh, it's kind of a cool option, but they would have to, um, you know, know how to do that sometimes it's a little bit techy for some people to do that allow participants remain return to the main session anytime or not allow them to and i have to you know uh, force it going back eventually automatically move all assigned participants into the breakout rooms that's a good one to keep checked otherwise people have to like find the button to join the room um, auto close i don't usually do that countdown after closing the breakout room so when i cl click on when everyone's in the room or in their rooms and i click close breakouts how many seconds do they get as a countdown before they're automatically forced back to the main room 60 seconds is the default or if you want them to automatic to, to immediately come back to the main room while they're in mid-sentence you would uncheck the box and they would be immediately brought back when you click close breakouts which means you would have to put a message into the breakout because you can you can send a broadcast into all the breakout rooms all at once saying hey everyone you know i'm going to bring you back now and 10 seconds or something like that but 60 keeping this checked is a good idea uh, okay I'm gonna click out of the settings here and let's click recreate again and I'll show you let participants choose room if I do that right now and I click recreate um, I could again it's letting me assign if possible but I'm gonna click open all rooms and right now all of you who are here live you probably see a dialogue pop up is that right Nikki is that what you see right okay okay that's cool and then um if you if actually if, if, if let's say mike can you click on join one of the rooms and just to see what happens here so if mike goes ahead and joins one of the rooms then mike is in that room now um and not here and nikki do you see mike's name in room one you you see mike's name in room one okay so cool. So basically, literally, you, some people might just want to wait for some reason until they see who's joining what room. And then they say, well, I want to hang out with Mike. I'm going to join that room. Mike, you're back right now. Um, and it's interesting because on my screen, I see Mike's name still in room one. And it says not joined in parentheses. So it already it kind of knew that you were part of that room and somehow you came back. And, um, and I guess you really, do you have another option, Mike, on your screen to join a different room or room one is it? And right now you can still choose room two. 
you can you can still choose that option. Yeah, cool. There we go. Okay, so it's really it's really um, flexible. It looks like, and so like the uh, allow participants to join would be good if you already have like pods in your group program, and people know. Oh yeah, you know Jenny, Mike, you were already part of a pod, and so when you when I allow people to because when I as the host assign rooms automatically. Zoom doesn't know who's part of what pod in my own business, my own group system or whatever. There is a way to go into the Zoom settings on the Zoom website and pre-assign people. But the tricky part about that is you have to know people's email addresses connected to their Zoom account. And it's like that coordination itself is a little bit, you know, I guess you could create a Google Sheet spreadsheet, have people fill up. But sometimes people put the wrong email address that's not associated to the... So it's a little bit of a, it's much easier if you, if you just let the participants pick their own rooms and you could just say, you could say, all right, everyone. Uh, and now you should tell everyone in advance, um, Jenny, Mike, your pod is number one. Maybe there's some kind of a spreadsheet you put together and they could just quickly look. Oh, okay. I'm part of pod one. So, all right, everyone, pod one people go to room one, pod two people go to room two, et cetera. Let people choose. And then that way they could easily, that's a very easy way of doing it. Versus you having to add either, either automatic, yeah, yeah, Nikki, go ahead. Yes, oh, that's really good. Yes, right. Yeah, that's a good. That would be cool. Yeah, that's a really good point. Yeah. That's a, that's a good point. And everyone watching this video, comment below if you happen to know the answer to that. But, um, while I have this dialogue up on, I know you participants are not seeing this right now, but, um, while I have this up where, um, you know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm even wondering if I'm recording your voice, Nikki. I don't know if the YouTubers can, can see this, but uh, while I have this up, you can see that there's a broadcast message to all button on the bottom left. If I click there, this would be messaging all the breakout rooms and, um, you could, uh, you could write quite a bit, but I think if you press enter, let me see if I could do, yeah, if I, if I press enter, it broadcasts it out right away. Um, Mike, did you see a message come through just now? It's so funny because Mike is in the main room, but you still saw the broadcast message, right? Did, did Nikki, did you see a broadcast message? I, in the, even in the, on the yeah, okay, okay, <laughs> okay, so that's good to know. I'm going to click close all rooms. Um, actually, that, that's not true because you all are in the unassigned room. So there's another room called unassigned. Let me see, let me see if I could recreate the rooms and, um, uh, if I could rename the rooms. I cannot, I can't see. Oh, I can. I'm sorry. I could see it on the dialogue here. So let's see, Pacific time and, uh, rename it as, um, you know, let's say cat lovers or something like that. And, uh, do you, do you, do you see the names already? No, you don't, right? You don't see the names yet. I'm going to click open all rooms. Do you, do you see the names now? This is great. Well, I'm, <laughs> I'm learning something while I'm making this tutorial. <laughs> so I'm great. I'm glad, Nikki, you asked a question. This is, this is the next level, uh, group facilitation for me because I'm going to start doing this going forward. So this is really cool. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you all for, um, so we can see rooms here on the dial and then we can see participants here and see, and we can even uh, assign, let's see if I'm going to assign Ariel to, she's not Pacific time. That's hopefully she's a cat lover. Um, so I can see that I've already assigned her and, uh, let's see, Nikki, you're Pacific time. I'm going to assign you to Pacific time. So I can see that. And you can see, did you see that you're just assigned Nikki? Oh, I, I think I, I automatically brought them into those rooms. So when I click assign, they automatically moved into it. So I'm going to close all rooms now and uh, hopefully they will come back. Okay. Drop down up and down here. Okay. And then, uh, okay. All right. Well, I hope this helps. And uh, any other questions from any of you live here or any other ideas? Yeah. About the breakout room. Yes. You couldn't get them out of it. Did you already? 
move them to another room. Okay. Um, it, 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 there's two reasons for that. One is it might just have, cause sometimes I notice when I, when I click on a sign and then I, I put people into rooms, it takes like 30 seconds sometimes or 60 seconds even because of the connection of their technology with the internet or whatever. That might have been an issue. I don't know if that was true. If you, if you, if, if you waited longer, that might have worked. Possible. That is a long time to wait. Exactly. That's a long time to wait. It's true. Um, the second possibility is that their Zoom somehow crashed. If you had waited a long time, let's say you waited 30 or 60 seconds, it's still not. Maybe their Zoom, their Zoom crashed and you, it's still, the Zoom was still showing them there, but they're not there. Anyway, the third possibility I've realized actually is that their Zoom software might be older. So maybe they haven't updated their Zoom for like, maybe, I don't know, a year or something and, and they don't have the new connection with Zoom yet to be able to be moved. So, yeah, possibility. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Did you try, did you try changing the number of breakout rooms? Yeah, so what what you're not seeing on the screen, which the people watching this on, on YouTube are seeing right now, is I'm changing, when I click on create or recreate the breakout rooms, I'm able to change the numbers. And by default, it starts at the number one, which means everybody is, is in that room, which is which means, yes, you're going to have to change the number to see how many uh, how many participants uh, are, are, are going to be in the room. And sometimes the up and down uh, dialogue works and sometimes it doesn't, I know. I think after after I put the number in, then the up and down seems to work. But before I put the number in, it doesn't seem to work. So those of you who are live here, you'll watch the video later and see what I'm talking about. Yeah. So, All right. Well, thank you so much, Jenny, for these questions. Anybody else uh, also has questions about breakouts? No? Okay. All right. Well, um, those of you watching this, I hope this is helpful. If you have any other tips for others, uh, with for Zoom breakout rooms, please comment below because I'm still learning about this as well. So thank you.